Hey Pisces and Pisces lovers and friends. Welcome back, y'all. So this is gonna be a general reading for Pisces collective dealing with an Aquarius. It was requested. Um y'all you are more than welcome to at any time to request readings and all that fun stuff, okay? So Let's go ahead and see what's happening with Pisces Collective dealing with an Aquarius. If you're a cross watcher, you know, things could be flipped, reversed, whatever the case may be. So take it how it resonates. Okay. Let's see what's happening with Pisces and Aquarius. I've never actually dated an Aquarius, so this will be interesting. <laughs> Not sure what they're like uh, romantically. Okay, let's go. Pisces dealing with an Aquarius. Pisces dealing with an Aquarius spirit. What is going on with Pisces and Aquarius? Ooh, this flipped their energy. Four of Swords coming right out. Somebody might be a little distressed, a little worried and concerned about something. Not sure what's happening or going on. Mm, yep, the moon. Okay, Pisces. <laughs> Ooh, our energy. So, wow, that's very interesting. Their energy came out first, yours came out second. So, Pisces, I feel like there is something that you don't know about this person, or maybe you feel like this person is keeping a lot of secrets, or you just don't understand why the two of you aren't really making progress. Ooh. So the sun came out, Leo energy. Mm. I feel like for some of you, you wonder if this person is keeping a child from you or maybe this person lied about not having a child or <laughs> something and they got a whole bundle of joy at the house. Okay. <laughs> um, I also get too that for some of you, <laughs> oh God, for some of you, you only see this person at night and not during the day. So this would be something casual. I feel like, you know, it keeps you up at night stressed and worrying about what they're doing and what, what could be going on with them. We have the magician and the page of wands here. So hmm. I, I'm starting to feel like for some of you, that the only effort that this person really puts into this situation um, is sexual. Uh, I feel as if you, <sighs> like this really, this person really does bring you a lot of, of joy, okay? Like you have such a good time with them. Um, which is why you're so stressed out when you think about the other things that could be going on with them. Like maybe they have, I don't know, some some inner demons that keep them from wanting something more with you. Because I feel like they hit you with minimal, um, minimal communication, and just minimal effort. It's like they are not bringing a lot to the table here. 
not as much as you are or would want to. So we have the Ten of Wands here in reverse. Um, let's see. You know, I feel like you might send this person or not send, but it's like there's there's so much that you want to say to this person, okay? But you don't. So it's like you're keeping a lot inside, which is why you find yourself being very stressed out about what it is that is really going on with them or who they really are or what they're really involved in. Okay, so it's like they they give you this much and maybe you also respond in the same manner, but deep down it's like you are like this, okay? Like holding on to all of these thoughts, all of these feelings that you have for them that are just not um, being shared. I also feel like, too, that you have moments where you want to give up on this situation. It's like you don't want to keep carrying the weight of all of these feelings, of all of these thoughts about who they are and what they're doing, what they might be hiding. Wow. So these four have come out. Wow. Ooh. The Five of Swords and the Nine of Wands in reverse. These all came out at the same on dang on time. And the Ace of Swords and the King of Swords. So this is their energy coming through heavy down here. Let me see what they got to say for themselves, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, Pisces, with the Five of Swords underneath the moon, they really are hiding in some things. And not being very honest and, um, you know, being a bit petty. And I feel like, I don't know why, like, uh, I get bad vibes from this person. Like, I'm just really tuned into this girl back here in the pink for some reason. I just feel like that could be you or someone else that they may have hurt. But I feel like Pisces, this person really only wants what they want and that's it, okay? I feel like everything is like fair game for them. And I also feel like you were a bit too open and trusting when it came to this person. Um, but you know, I also sense that this person is going to want to try to keep you keep you around, okay, um, they're not gonna, they're gonna try their best to prevent you from being suspicious about them, or they think that they're doing a good job of, um, preventing you from being suspicious of, of them, but somebody is really hiding a baby, okay, <laughs> Somebody definitely lied about having a child, swear on everything. Um, but I feel like this person, they still want to kind of maintain some power over you, over the situation. They don't want to let you go because they know that they kind of have a little bit of a hold on you. And so with the Ace of Swords here, though, it's like, I feel like spirit is... Um, is giving you the power to see through this person's bull crap, okay? To see through their lies and to also protect yourself against them, okay? Because this Ace of Swords can cut this king down, okay? The sword that God is giving you um, to protect yourself, to see through, okay? The illusions that come with our own energy of being a Pisces, it's like, nope, forget all the fantasies, the delusions, all of that. You know this person lied about something or you know this person is a, a cheater. You know this person got a kid or more than one. But they want to sit up there 
you know, on, on their throne to try to overpower you and make it seem like they're not, um, they're not doing anything wrong. And I also get that too. (laughs) Some of them are a bit bold. It's like, they don't care whether you know that something is wrong or not. They still, you know, because they feel like they still have that power over you. Okay. I feel like for some of you, you're really into this person because of how smart and, and intelligent they are. Okay. Like that's a big part of what attracts you to this person in the first place. Like they talk a good game is what I feel. They talk a good game and they try to, uh, present themselves as if they are innocent, but I'm not buying it. Okay. I'm not. Let's see. (laughs) Wow. This card keeps on coming up. Hostilities in reverse. This card came out for Libra. The Libra and Pisces reading too. So it's something about these air signs and hostilities. Okay. Pisces. I feel like this person, they really, um, ooh, they, they could be a bit, a big distraction in your life. Okay. Like, you feel like you have to be on guard maybe because you never know what's gonna happen next or what's coming next from this person. You know, what's going to be the next red, red flag that you get. Okay. So by choosing to, you know, take that ace of swords that God has given you. Okay. That common sense, that breakthrough, that mental clarity and understanding about this person in the situation, Pisces, doing that is going to cause you to be less stressed, okay? Less stressed. Wow, so we have door to romance, Pisces. I told you this person, in spite of the spite, okay, in spite of the... The, the difficulties and what you know is wrong in this situation, they're going to convince you, okay? They're going to try to keep you around um, for that uh, for that page of wands over there, okay? <laughs> Real talk, like, they are going to try to convince you to stay, okay? Knowing good and dang going well, they lying. See, victory in reverse, bro. I didn't say it, okay? Spirit did. There's no victory in this situation. Like, this is not the right person. Um, They're lying. And take it how it resonates because for a cross watcher, listen, okay? It could be a Pisces lying to you, okay? I dealt with a, a lying Pisces before and it was the worst thing ever. And I will never deal with a Pisces guy ever again in my life. So, um, <laughs> take it how it resonates. But look, Mm -mm. you're not gonna win so if you if you go go down that little path okay you keep this little door to romance okay hello we all know we grown we know what that wand is for real for real okay um (laughs) passion enthusiasm okay all of that look you're not gonna win if you keep dealing with them Reading a journal. Let's see what's going on here. Like, ain't nothing else to say. <laughs> ain't nothing else to say. Oh, this is so much. Wow. Are we making love? Or are we just fucking? Come back to me. I'm afraid to tell you how I truly feel about you and love me. So, Pisces, I feel like you want to know. Okay, but take how it resonates. You want to know if this is if this is something more. I feel like you. I feel like you really have some deep feelings for this person. With this, come back to me. And with, I'm afraid to tell you how I truly feel about you. Yeah, this person is afraid to tell you that they're. 
that they're a liar. That's what they're afraid to tell you. Okay? They're afraid to tell you the truth. How I truly feel. Okay? Whatever. <laughs> so we have spread your wings here. And we have teach. So, Pisces, listen here. I feel like it's for some of you, you know, it's time for you to move on from this person in this situation, okay? I feel like you've learned some valuable lessons from this, um, but there is something more for you. So, it's like you have a choice. You're going to... Uh, keep that door to romance open and just deal with this person? Or are you going to spread your wings and go down this other path, okay? That is paid for you. There's a light at the end of it. All kinds of great stuff, okay? Being fully supported by the universe. What? Like, come on. Which one are you going to choose? All you can see is just some grass there. This little bird cage is in the way. Like, <laughs> all kinds of stuff. Like, come on, Pisces. What you doing? See? I was wondering what Aquarius was like. I see now. I might stay away from them too. Let's get some, uh, yeah. No, yeah. I don't know. I feel like I should do this one first. Let's go ahead. Mm -hmm. Inspire others. This card keep on coming up for Pisces. Look, Pisces. And, and teach is here too. So I said you learned some lessons, but... Maybe for some of you, you feel like um, your experiences in life and sharing those experiences could benefit other people, which is why Spirit wants you to spread your wings and go beyond this person because it's like, this is honestly beneath you and you really need to uh, focus on yourself and focus on what really matters. Not somebody who is lying and wants to try to overpower you and can't tell you how, you know, they really feel, who they really are, and that they have some kids <laughs> that they lied about. Be of service. Yeah, Pisces. Spirit wants you to do a whole 360 and change up, okay? Um, it, it's clear that you have work to do, okay? Sorry, I'm going to get this right with placing these cards in front of the camera properly, I swear. Um, <laughs> but you you have work to do. Like, I, I don't even want to say I don't know why you're even dealing with this person. I mean... <laughs> we grown, so we know why. But on the flip side, it's like, look, you got some real work to do, okay? Um, maybe some of you actually are teachers, all right? Like, some of y'all are responsible, okay? And here with all these children here again, too, that just made me think... <laughs> Somebody really lying about some babies now, nah. okay? Um, mm. and I'm not trying to be funny. I don't know, and I don't know how Aquarius is romantically, but I do know that they. Now that I think about it, I'm like, actually, yeah, they do lie. They do be lying in front. They do, not all of them, but some of them, okay? So let's uh choose a whispers of love card Pisces and then close out with an angel answers card okay romance lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection I mean Pisces this is what this person I feel does to you they try to lavish you okay they try to romance you with that door to romance card that was there but that's not enough. Sorry, romance ain't enough. We need some honesty too. Like, hello? Um, a a relationship or a connection cannot be sustained on romance alone. Okay? So we need some honesty to go with that romance. Amen. Whether you whether you got five babies or not. Be honest. <laughs> okay. Cut the crap. Ooh. Yeah, Pisces, 
it's funny how in a lot of these uh, readings, it's like the cards for asking for guidance, talking to your angels. Look, God needs you to talk to him, her, whatever you think God is, okay? God wants you to talk to him. So about this situation, okay? You need to talk to the Lord, okay? Let's take it back to basics. Talk to the Lord, okay? Because it's clear that you got some work to do and this is a complete distraction from what you should be focusing on, okay? Putting your mental and emotional energy into stressing out about this person is stopping you from inspiring other people, teaching other people, being of service to other people, okay? Like, I love how God didn't even say nothing else with those cards. It was just kind of like, look, you got work to do. I need you to be of service. I need you to inspire other people. So, um, Pisces, dealing with an Aquarius. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated and, um, Please let me know because I don't know unless you tell me. <laughs> so like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next reading, okay? Bye.